<laughs> Good morning and hello everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, all of my beautiful people. It is Thanksgiving. Oh, I did like the cards. I thought I saw something right there, but you got me. <laughs> I'm gonna take this hair down. I I uh, twisted up yesterday. It is dry now. I um, spritzed it with water. Put conditioner on it from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. Blue Magic grease with coconut oil and um, olive oil mixed together. Then at the end of rubbing it on my hair. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my hands this morning. So my hands won't pull and snag all my hair. So I'm just going to rub it on here like you rub on conditioner. Oh yeah, I did have my Dollar General nails on yesterday. I put my eBay nails on today. <laughs> yeah. I'm rubbing this on my hair. See how it look when I rub a little oil on it? You know when you have light hair and you don't put a little, just a little oil on it, it can have a tendency to look like your hair is dry and brittle, breaking. When it's not, it just need a little oil on it. Okay, now I'm going to take this down. Don't, don't know, don't know. Don't know, don't know what it going to look like. Don't know what it's gonna look like. Let's take it all loose before I start messing with it. Now, I told y'all that I was gonna show you how to make cranberry sauce. I made the cranberry sauce and I may make some more, but I don't like it because it's too tart. I don't like tart. I, I when it comes to cranberry sauce, I like sweet when it comes to cranberry sauce. I don't like cranberry sauce, but I made homemade cranberry sauce anyway. Well, I use a little bit of orange juice and a little bit of um, cranberry juice, sugar, boil the cranberries, and it turn into a thick gelatin. And then you see I have the, the cranberries pop. And then you pour it in, in a dish as, as it turns into the gelatin. You sit in the refrigerator in the gel. That's all it is to it. Now this morning, because I don't like the tart taste, and I think it's the cranberry juice and the and you're supposed to use orange juice with it too. I think those juices help to make it tart because those are tart juices to me. Uh, or they say use orange juice or pomegranate juice. Both of those juices are tart and, it's, and, the, and the cranberries are tart anyway. And I don't want that taste. So this morning, I'm going to do it like we do um, apple pie and, 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 and uh, pies. I'm not going to put those tart juices in it. I'm going to put sugar in it. And see how that tastes. Just sugar. I may do some brown sugar. It's even sweeter. Because those things are so tart. I don't like it. And I got the cranberry sauce so made. Somebody might like it. But I don't like that tartness. I know if some people on here. They make it like that too. And they say oh I like the tart taste. Well hell I don't. I like the way it come in a can. When it's sweet in the can. That's the way I like it. Well I may show y'all what I do with it. Because. I hate to come on here and don't do it the way everybody else do it. And then y'all see me say, girl, you're supposed to put some juice in there. I'm like, damn, I don't like the juice. Can I make it the way I want to make it, y'all? Ain't this Val and this is how she do it channel? Yeah, it's a Val, Granville, Valerie, Granville, TV. And then she come on. Hey, this is Val, this is how you do it. How she do it. <laughs> Yep, that's what they say. I'm going to try it this morning. I'm going I'm to try it different. I already got the, the the original, the way it's supposed to be made, made. Then I'm going to practice with something else. This morning, on Thanksgiving morning. Now, you can always set that other one to the side and don't, don't let nobody taste it. Or you can say, which one you like? Taste both of them. And then see which one they eat up. Yeah. Do that too. Somebody may come in with a can of cranberry sauce. What you say, child? That's all I need. Is that perfect can coming in the house? <laughs> okay, y'all. What you think? <laughs> say, babe, I do something with that. You know, all you did was took it down, got out the bed, and took the plants down. They're like chilling when they take the hair loose. Do something with it. Okay. Let's try seeing that standing up a little bit. Standing up a little bit. 
stand it up and then fluff it a little bit that what I'm doing right now is getting it from laying on the scalp fluffing it giving it a lift everybody need a lift every once in a while what you say <laughs> lift it up there in the back okay lift it up in the back there get it from being laying all that sleepy head that dead head lift it up the girl Oh yeah, I got on my sweatsuit to go outside in that cold weather. What you say? Mm. What did you say? <laughs> oh, what did you say? Lift it up. What, that's what eyes Mary and I said when when I when I told her I was trying to make my hair big. She said, "Big hair don't care. Go on with your bad self. I got you now. I did the bone going with your bad self. I got you now." But she said, "Big hair don't care." <laughs> she said she liked it when I was trying to take this hair and try to make it kind of stand out a little bit. Look, you see how I did that? Picked up like that. Now y'all know I don't know what the back look like, so don't don't. When I look at the back and turn around, and look at it. Y'all gonna see the same see it the same time I see it. And if it needs fixing, I'm gonna have to do it after I see it on camera. But this is what your girl hair doing now since she didn't change the color. Bleached it and colored it. That's what I did. Did some videos on that if you want to see them. How to get the orange out. Because my hair turned orange off that bleached it. But that's because it had five years of black color on my hair for a Dollar Tree dye. And so it takes time to lift the color off. It don't be tough. It's not actually stripping the color off your hair. It's stripping the uh, the dyes that you have put on your hair all these years when you've been trying to get the gray out. So it takes time to the lift. It's called it lift the black color out your hair. And sometimes it turns orangey. And then I was trying to show y'all how to get the orange color out your hair because some of y'all get to that orange color and you stay with it. And you be asked because I've seen people walking around with that orange color in the hair. Honey, I can't talk because in my in between stage, I walked around with my hair orange too because I wasn't trying to do too much to my hair all at one time. Child, you feel me? Because this is why I still look happy, cause healthy because I wasn't trying to do it all at one time. It was a process, and I know y'all was cringing like, <laughs> Val, don't do that. Val, don't do that. Oh, what you're doing? You ain't got no sense. And I know you don't know what you're doing because you're trying to do it yourself. If you knew what you was doing, you would have went to the professionals and let them put their hands in your hair. But, child, what you say? You want to trust them? I'd rather mess it up myself than to let them mess it up. Because I would be wanting to kill them and sue them and knock them to the floor. Have a fight up there. Because I was looking at that lady in Walmart every time I passed Walmart and she was doing them folks' hair. I was watching them. And I was seeing, did she have any natural hair folks in her chair as I passed by? Child, I'd have to kill her in Walmart, and then I'd be going to jail. I wouldn't kill her, y'all. I'd just have to beat her ass. <laughs> That's why I did it myself. <laughs> Excuse my wrench this morning. Don't know. I have to look and see. I'm lifting it up this morning. I just didn't, didn't feel like having it hanging down this morning, y'all. And I hope everybody's going to have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you don't have any folks with you, honey, sit yourself down. Put your put a more good movie in and get you a nice plate and eat in front of the TV. And don't worry about it, honey. Don't worry about it, honey. We don't always need a bunch of folks running around here acting crazy because some of us can't handle that. 
Because my Thanksgiving dinner is for the folks in the house. They ever still call and say, Mama, what you cooking? I may be there on the weekend, so that still ain't Thanksgiving Day. He'll be eating leftovers. Well, that's fine. That's fine, you hear me? Because your girl will be cooking, and she ain't cooking no giant pans of this and giant pans of this. She cooking enough for two or three days. Not enough for a month. Not enough for a week. Not enough to have leftovers at the wazoo. <laughs> and this is bad with this is how you do it. Honey, I still ain't got no flour meal. Onions, bell peppers. Butter. And mashed potatoes. I ain't got it. I can't make my cornbread stuffing. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. It'll happen. God is good. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> y'all, y'all have a wonderful day. Have a beautiful weekend. And you'll probably see me throughout the day. Bye bye now.